Ah, 2020. I remember it like it was yesterday. If you were like me, watching the events of 2020 unfold, you might have gone out to your garden and looked at it and said, is this the most productive version of my garden that I'm growing right now? And so a lot of us kind of went back to the garden to reevaluate how we were doing things. We had some questions about global supply lines and food supply in general. And all of this is what led to the Great Sweet Potato Incident of 2020. So how can a sweet potato end up costing me thousands of dollars? Well, the short answer, actually, let me back up. First, Mr. Allen shows Bill how to turn the soil with a spading fork. Whoa, not that far. There we go. About 10 years ago, I built a greenhouse out of two Pellroom greenhouse kits on top of a raised bed. And overall, I was very pleased with how it worked. I even appeared in waiting rooms across the country, posing ruggedly in it. Fast forward a decade to the global pandemic, and I decided to try sweet potatoes in the greenhouse. This was only a few weeks after I planted them. And this was them after a few months. These plants did so shockingly well that, well... You're gonna need a bigger... Greenhouse. It was time to say goodbye to the old greenhouse and make one that could stand up a little better to the temperature extremes of New England. I knew that the new one would need to be designed with major considerations given to storing heat, or in other words, creating thermal mass. Meanwhile, I started the process of making a spot big enough to put the new greenhouse on. I spent two months jackhammering solid rock. During this time, I decided that a GAT, or a ground air heat transfer, was the best design approach. I'm going to borrow from one of my other videos to sum up what a GAT is. And specifically, building a greenhouse with a GAT. Uh, no, not that type of GAT. A ground air heat transfer system. The real basic description of what that is, is hundreds of feet of pipe are wound underneath the greenhouse, Hot air from the greenhouse is forced through those down into the ground. And in turn, that forces the cool air that's in the ground back into the greenhouse. After looking around, I decided that gabby and baskets were the way to go. So once the gat had been installed, I built a 12 by 12 raised bed out of gabby and baskets. The baskets were covered inside and out with two layers of commercial grade weed barrier. The main access to the bed would be from the sides of the bed reaching in. This maximizes the growing area because you don't have to leave areas where you would walk inside. I added a shelf on top of the sides of the bed that would allow me to walk around on it. The entire floor was covered with hardware cloth, a layer of heavy ground barrier fabric, then a layer of R6 insulation, another layer of ground fabric, and then three inches of gravel. In the widest area of the floor, I also used four inch thick pavers all of these are steps taken to maximize the thermal mass and heat storage of the structure. In spite of single digit temperatures, I was able to set the structural timber that I had milled. I built a temporary work area on the lower area of my property where I could lay 20 foot beams, making cutting them to length as well as cutting the mortises and tenons much easier. The first two weeks in February were unseasonably warm, allowing me to complete the walls and get all of the roof done. I used pallets as the material for the roof shingles. The watering system is complete and I am working at balancing it so that I can supply every plant on the property with the water that it needs. I installed a wall of food grade buckets that I picked up from the deli of a local grocery store. I built a workbench slash seeding growing area along the back wall. And of course, no GAT system is complete without fans, 
and control systems. So what started out as a seemingly innocent garden task of adding some sweet potatoes to my garden turned into months of hard work and a bunch of cash being spent. If you're curious about how much of it was free and the overall cost of the greenhouse, I made a separate video specifically about that. So be sure to check that out. Have you ever spent more in the garden than you intended to spend? Well, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, well, I need to get back to the task of uh, taming the sweet potato beast. Wow. Well, um, if you like this video, you might like these. <laughs>